Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. It's been a while, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna go into this because it's been a while since I filmed. I have a pretty good sized stack of manga to share with y'all. So I'm going to try to not just ramble on. I am gonna say a little bit about each volume or each title. Um, maybe like say whether or not I liked it, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Let me show you the stack. This is, this is the stack. Yeah. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> this is more like, this is a few weeks worth. A couple, few, a few weeks worth, I think. See, I said I was gonna get right into it and I'm already rambling. This is what y'all make me do. Anyway, let's just get into the stack, okay? All right, so on the top of the stack is Pop Team Epic. <laughs> on the top of the stack is Pop Team Epic by B Cub Okawa. Um, I saw this at Books A Million and I picked it up because I had seen someone, who was it? Maybe the Anime Man? Should I admit that I watched the Anime Man? I don't know, are there like any controversies around that kid? And yes, I say kid because I am very sure that he's a lot younger than I am. So anyway, I think he's kind of funny. I watch him occasionally, but he mentioned Pop Team Epic. I guess the anime, I think he did some voice acting in it. So when I saw this, I was like, eh, you know, let's, let's try it out. Let's see what the kids are into these days. I didn't finish this. Honestly, I didn't get it. It's just, you know how you read something or you see something or you have that moment where you, you realize that you're old? This, this made me realize that I'm old. I didn't understand it and just to double check and make sure that it wasn't just me, I also had my husband read a couple of panels in here and he was just like, I don't get it. And mind you, my husband and I are the same age, but he tends to be a little bit more in tune with what the kids are into, more specifically like boy kids <laughs> are into because he's on the internet and he does like Reddit stuff, he like reads stuff on Reddit. He's like into the memes, that's what it is. I'm not a meme person. So I just didn't get this. I'm thinking about maybe seeing if my 12 year old wants to read this. The only thing I'm hesitant about is the fact that I mean, you do have two very young girl looking characters with middle fingers up. Um, and I'm not one of those like super prude parents who, you know, doesn't like want people cussing. In front. I, I cuss in front of my kids. I, sometimes I cuss at them because anyway. <laughs> I probably shouldn't admit that on camera, but it's it is what it is, okay? So I'm not like super squeamish about that. They know when it is appropriate or when it's not appropriate to flip people off, you know? Like, but anyway. I don't know. I just don't know if he'll get it. I'm gonna pass it on to him, see if he gets it and thinks it's funny. And if he doesn't like it, I'm just gonna donate it because it just I'm not gonna say it was bad, it just wasn't for me. Let's move on. Next on the stack is Japan by Buronsen and Kintaro Miura. Um, this was an interesting read. It's not one that I'm going to keep. I purchased this secondhand from Barbed Wire Books in Longmont, Colorado. I don't remember exactly why I picked it up. I think I was just intrigued by the fact that it takes place somewhere other than Japan. This follows a group of Japanese people who are in Spain and they end up falling into this cavern type thing and meeting this, I guess a witch type lady who ends up sending them forward in time. So they do some time traveling and they see that um, Japan is no longer Japan and Japanese people are refugees and they are just very oppressed and dealing with a lot of things. They are oppressed by the Europeans. And so these modern Japanese people are having to see what could happen in the future and it's just it was it was interesting but at the same time it was it was mm. there were things that I enjoyed about it and there were things that made me roll my eyes I didn't love it I didn't hate it I don't I didn't enjoy it enough to keep it on my shelves I'm definitely going to pass this along to someone else I'm gonna donate it or whatever 
Maybe I'll even do a giveaway of some of the things that I don't end up enjoying. I might do that. That's something that I might do. So we'll see. Anyway, I didn't love it. That, that's all I'm going to say about that. Next I have Konohana Kitan by <laughs> Saku Sakuya Amano. I'm so bad with Japanese names and titles. This is a freaking adorable. What initially drew me to this title is the cover art. I love the colors and I think that the, just look how cute they are. This is the aesthetic of my heart. <laughs> this is the color of my soul. This is so cute. It is a slice of life, fantasy, spiritual. There are little morals at the end of each story. It is so cute. I am so excited to continue on with this. It is published by Tokyo Pop, and I, you know, Tokyo Pop was around way back in the day when I first started reading manga. Um, and I know that they had some issues. I think they went like bankrupt or something and you just, I never, I didn't see Tokyo Pop anymore unless I found older volumes. And I guess they're making a comeback. I went to their website to see what other titles they had. And honestly, it seems strange. Tokyo Pop, I don't know what's going on with y'all, but I did like this. Next I have New Game by Shotaro Tokuno. This is also extremely cute, and this is also one that I picked up because how cute is the cover? Oh my goodness. I was hesitant because I'm very, I give the side eye to artists that choose to draw their characters very young looking, but then give them an age that makes it see, that would make people feel a little bit better about reading something a little creepy, you know what I'm saying? But I figured that since this is more of like a, an office worker slice of life, that it would be less creepy. And thankfully, I was correct. Next I have Earthian Volumes 1 and 2. I purchased Volume 1 from Half Price Books, and I purchased Volume 2 on Am Amazon. Yes, I purchased it on Amazon secondhand. I don't know how I feel about this series. There are things that I absolutely love. There are characters that I adore and are adorable. There are things that I do not like. Oh, side note, look at, look at this. Again, y'all see why I buy some of these things, because look at this color scheme. Again, it's the color of my soul. Moving on to volumes one through four of Pre-Tier, the new, the new Legend of Snow White by Kaori Naruse and Junichi Sato. I really enjoyed this series so much. I also read book one of Tokyo Babylon by Clamp. It, those of y'all who have been here for a while, y'all know that Clamp is my absolute favorite manga artist group. I love them. I am on a mission to collect as many of their works as possible. You can't, well, no, if you can't see it, but I have like a space for all of my current Clamp titles and I, I try, I have to rein myself in sometimes because I, I just want to buy it all at once, but I'm trying to be good. But anyway, Tokyo Babylon, holy crap. This is so, this is so good. The art in here, like the outfits, the outfits and clamp works are just everything. Everyone is so stylish. They're adorable. I, I, I just, look at this outfit. Freaking cute. Like, look at, look at, do you see this? Look at this. Freaking clamp. Okay, let's move on to another clamp title. This is Man of Many Faces, Volume 1. <sighs> I bought this secondhand from Barbed Wire Books. I'm so glad that I did. So adorable. This is about a little boy who is also a thief. <laughs> And it's just, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> anyway, he ends up meeting this little girl and they have like a thing and it's not like creepy at all. Again, I've mentioned this before that I have a tendency to avoid stories that are romances and they involve young people, like people under the age of 25, because I'm old, okay? I don't care about the love lives 
of children, but this is freaking adorable. It's adorable. I can't, I just, I cannot. It's so cute. I loved it. I think I have volume two in my cart. Um, and I think volume two is the last volume. I'm not sure, but this was cute. Loved it. Next I have The Delinquent Housewife by Nemu Yoko. Also cute, super adorable. Definitely liked it a lot. <laughs> Next I have Midnight Secretary Volumes 1 and 2 by Tomu Omi. Y'all, a couple of y'all have mentioned this series in the comments a, a few times. And you know, it's been on my list for a while, but for some reason I kept forgetting to pick it up. I was caught up in picking up other things. I saw these at Books A Million and figured that I would just go on ahead and snatch them up and oh my goodness. I really enjoyed it. This this is a this is a guilty pleasure. I am I'm enjoying it. Next I have <laughs> Satan's Secretary by Kamotsu Kamotsu Kamonabe. Kamotsu Kamonabe. Yeah. Um this is nothing like Midnight Secretary. It's funny. I don't know how, what else to say about it. It's funny. She honestly might be my waifu. <laughs> Cause I just I like I like her a lot. Um, if you're wondering, this is what this is what Satan supposedly looks like. I mean, yeah, I like his I like the colors that he's wearing. Again, colors of my soul. Me and Satan have the same colored soul. Last but definitely not least, I have the strange creature at Kudo Yu Kudo Yuri Kudo Yuri Apartments. <sighs> I anyway. This is by Gao Yuzuki, and it does have a parental guidance warning on here. So I was a little hesitant because I see this grown-ass looking man with this child-looking person, and there's a mature warning, and I was just like, do I really want to pick this up? But obviously I, I did anyway, and I'm not sad. Thankfully, the things that happen in here that require a mature warning happen with a character who is like 21 or something like that. And she's also drawn in a way that she looks like she could be 21. Thank you artist for drawing characters cl at least like close to the ages that they are. I know that it can be difficult to look at someone and tell how old they are. I know, I mean, while we were in Japan, while my husband and I were in Japan, there were people that absolutely, I looked at them and I thought, hmm, I don't know how old, I do not know how old you are. And you're just running around, it's, it's you know, it's nighttime. You look like maybe you should be at home asleep in bed, getting ready for school. And you're out here and it's like midnight. What are you doing out here? And they were probably older than I am or something. You know, like there are people out there in these streets, in this world who look younger than they are. But I appreciate when manga artists at least try to make their characters look like adults or act like just y'all know what I'm saying. I don't I just I don't like when they try to sneak in creepiness. Don't be trying to sneak in creepiness on me. I'm not reading sexually explicit things with children. I'm just not. I'm just not. So anyway, she is a child and she acts like a child and she's, she gets treated like a child. Nothing creepy has gone on, at least not in this first volume between them. I have a feeling that at some point in this series, she is going to probably grow up or something. And that I, I'm sure like, she is a demon. So I'm sure that there's gonna be some, like probably the next volume, she's gonna have mir like miraculously grown up now or something, I don't know. I, I just, I have a feeling that eventually there's gonna be something, this is probably, this is, this is who they're wanting us to ship. I'm not shipping them right now, okay? It's just not happening. I think that's it. Um, <sighs> if you made it all the way to the end, I applaud you and thank you so much for sticking around and watching this. You know, I've thought many times about not um, making videos on this channel anymore because I I have a tendency to overthink things and I look at other people's stuff and I think, well, this is what they're doing. I'm not doing that, so why would someone want to watch my videos? I'm just not going to do them anymore. But 
I finally had this moment. Um, so one of y'all left a really, really nice comment that snapped me out of it. And then I also, today, just had this thought of like, girl, why are you overthinking it? You like to read manga? and you want to share what you read with others, so just do it. You don't have to be fancy. People, people who want to watch are gonna watch. So those of y'all who want to watch this, thank y'all so much for watching this, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.